Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, this design, it's a design that I wanted to do because I was in a party and then a kid asked for a rhino and I was like, wow. And I love rhinos, but I'm not familiar, you know, to exactly how it looks like. So I used all these pictures to, um, to have the idea to make it out of balloons. So check it out. Um, so this was the first try. So this kind of, I was trying to make, you know, because rhinos, I saw that it has two of these uh, horns. So that was kind of the first attempt to make two and it wasn't working. And I was using first an 11 inch round gray balloon. Plus I don't have much gray, but okay. Second attempt, because I don't have gray, I went with this idea. So it's a 350. So it's out of proportion, especially, you know, the legs are too long, maybe short. And that gave me the idea to make it, you know, if I make it with shorter legs, why not? 160 for ears, cheeks. And the good thing about this idea is you can also see what is from the front part. But um, it wasn't, you know, good enough until then I made this. Look, so I think this was my last, um, yes. I was thinking this is the one that I'm gonna show you how to make. What do you think? I think any everybody that is gonna see this design is gonna look as a rhino, right? And I like, especially, you know, I was kind of like, make the idea of the front legs that have these things coming out. Um, and it's, I think it's, it's a cool rhino. So this is what we're gonna do, ready? So I don't think we need much balloons than, a, this is a 650, right? Oh, 650, yeah, the bigger ones. <laughs> So you're gonna use it to make the whole body this part and then the legs is a 260 balloon and for the ears It's gonna be a 160 So let's start it and then we just need probably scraps for the 160 the horns and you can make these horns as long as you want And maybe this we can make a little bit shorter, but the idea is to give the idea that it have a long head So that's what I made it that way Awesome, let's start it. So this is gonna be, we're gonna start from the hardest part. We're gonna use that 650 balloon and we're gonna inflate it, like leaving, what is, 12 finger tail. Yep, so we have only this part and we're gonna make a pinch twist, but it's not, it's gonna go all the way here. So from here, it's gonna go like this. And it's gonna be with the horn that we want. So this horn is gonna be the longer one. So you decide how long you want. This one, it was shorter. And it's okay, you know, if these two things here is gonna look more like a, but let's, uh, a rhino. So let's make it more, a little bit longer. So this time it's gonna be like this big. That is a five finger bubble. So when you have that, you're gonna cut your 160. Okay, save this because you're gonna need another horn and just a little bit of air here and we're gonna need some space here because it's gonna be an apple twist so you bend it give it some shape so bend it like this and give it some shape just like that okay so now you're gonna do it but from here let's already start separating that the horn that goes after this one eh, after the longer one is gonna be of course shorter so i'm gonna make it this long that is like two finger long, okay? And I'm gonna cut, and then I have this, you know, because this was already a balloon scrap, but I, will, I, will, I need that just special balloon scrap. So I'm just making a little bit pointy here, but it doesn't matter, okay? So we have this, because we needed to attach it. So then we have also this scrap, because this is what we're gonna do, so. We're gonna make an apple twist, but you know, I like to cut this part, the nasal, because it's too big and in order them to grab it and twist it, it's gonna be too much here. So I'm gonna cut that part. So we just have something small there, because what we're gonna do, is the hardest part. <laughs> but as soon as you make this, the rest is gonna be easier. So you put it there, and look, it's squish, it's okay. It's squish the balloon, so then it's soft and easier to twist in a moment. And put it right here. So look how much pin to grab this. Okay, and while you squish this or it's soft, you twist it. Twist, 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 twist. So it's like four times at least. And you're gonna grab this scrap and you're going to now pass it around and tie it. So 
so make sure you pass this a couple times like four times at least so then it's locked there and doesn't get undone you know too easily okay so we have something like this so far now here is going to be the connector for this little horn so now we're going to tie these two together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what i'm doing and the thing is you see it doesn't look like wow so cool this part but it's okay at the end it's okay you know you can accommodate it and i'm gonna cut all the little um parts here so you have something like this you can squish the air a little bit so then this separate you see and how cool it looks now from here you're gonna grab but i'm making some pressure here i'm gonna grab the what i want that is gonna be the head you know and i'm gonna twist so that's gonna have a little bit of pressure but it's okay twist it a couple like six times probably because from here we're gonna make four pinch twist yep so now you're gonna use your chest probably you squish and make bubbles like four finger bubble and make it pinch twist so make sure those bubbles are soft i know it's very squishable because i have the microphone right here <laughs> now there is one let's make another one you know, soft but squishable because you're gonna twist it Then we're gonna squish, so we're gonna make two more, right? So squish, twist, and now pinch twist. And make sure those are soft and squishable. It's gonna be easy to twist. And now one more, the last one. Twist. And there you go. Now, woohoo, we made it. Yes. Oh, this is amazing, right? So you have this thing extra, you are gonna cut it. Cause I was thinking what to do with this part, mm, but no, I prefer to cut it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little hole. And then I'm gonna use the rest of this 650 to tie it. Or, you know, you can just also just pass it around a couple times and it's gonna be good enough because there's gonna be all the balloons going around. So that's gonna be okay and safe. Look how pretty. Just like this, I think people can already see this is gonna be a rhino, don't you think? Well, now we're gonna grab the 260 gray. So, this is the cool thing. I think this design, I made it gray this time, but you know, in balloon world, you can make it any color, like a pink rhino, a white rhino, a black rhino, but you can choose, you know, the colors, and I think it's gonna still looking like a rhino. That's the cool part, I think, about this design. So, this time it's gray, but you can use any color especially because for example for me i don't have much gray you know you don't and so this is the last gray so if i tomorrow or another day you know i make a rhino probably gonna have to make it any other color okay now what we're gonna do is uh, you grab the 260 gray and it's gonna be inflated probably six finger tail right and we're gonna um this is the thing i measure here eight this is the first time i made it so you probably can make it better but i made eight finger bubble okay and then another eight finger bubble so twist it together and then i'm gonna make here a pinch twist make sure that pinch twist is very locked or safe and then from here i'm gonna connect it right here that's gonna be the booty and i'm gonna make like here like a two finger bubble Okay, and this is gonna connect it all the way here in the center, right there. So I'm just going this way. Okay, so when I have this, oh, wait, there you go. Doesn't look like those are gonna be the bag legs. From here, I'm gonna um, go all the way to the center and then probably move it a little bit here. Yep, because from here, my plan is to make these two connect each other you see so i'm gonna go from here and measure this part so what i think is better is from here i'm gonna go with one leg but i have to first have the idea how long this is gonna look like this so i'm gonna measure right here right you see what i'm doing so the legs can be together so i'm gonna measure this is the size and then i'm gonna make make sure i'm gonna make 
twist here. So from here is like four or five finger bubble. And I'm gonna go back. But before that, I'm gonna pass it through here. Mm -hmm. And doesn't look like it's half the shape we want, but it's gonna be accommodated in a moment. Because this is gonna go back right here. This one is gonna go back right all the way here. So I'm gonna put it upside down so you can see. And that one goes all the way with a five finger bubble, all the way on top. I hope this can be, you can be able to see, but there we go. Now we're going up again. We accumulate the pinch twist, and this is the thing what is going to happen right now. The pinch twists are start opening, you know, separated. And we accommodate the bubbles all the way there. Like the ones, remember? These ones are eight finger bubble first together, pinch twist, like a two finger bubble goes in the center. So we open this two big 650 pinch twist, and we leave it there. Then we went down and, and measured like five finger bubble, connected to these back legs, up again, five finger bubble, and now we're here. So we open this two uh, pinch twist with the 650, we open it, so then that, it's gonna go right here so that's gonna give it more of a shape oh look at this your cat yes it is a cat right so now from here what we're gonna do is make part what is the head and it's gonna go on top of the ear so what i'm going this time i'm gonna try not to make it so big so i'm gonna go with what is this four finger bubble and then four finger bubble and then go back right so let's go four finger bubble and then sure this is very well twisted so I'm gonna go with a four finger bubble then four finger bubble twist it together and then this bubble the last one okay and this one is gonna go this bubble you know where we have these two we're gonna go all the way right here see so we can open this pinch twist so it's, and then we're connected so if you don't have more here, you can make a little bubble, very little, and pass it through these two bubbles. So, and then you can just lock them there. So you can just leave it there, you can pass it a couple of times, but that's kind of the idea. What do you think about this? Look, you can always accommodate these things, but look, look. So that's kind of the design already. Now we just need what? What we just need is a 160 balloon scrap for the ears. And gray is the idea, and I don't have much gray. Let me see if I have another gray. Is yes? Okay, I have one here. So you will need a 160 gray for what? For the tail and for the ear. So for the ears, what I do, I inflate a balloon, leaving like eight finger tail, and then I'm gonna make like two finger bubble, and then a longer one, like four finger bubble, and twist it together. Again, two finger bubble, and a longer one like four finger bubble and twist it together and then I cut don't get rid of this yet because it can be the little tail so save this and make sure you lock this uh, or tie it and then you just go and connect it right here so that's that's the last part um, then it's gonna be uh, a little bit of sharpie but yeah so look this is how I keep the ears now, um, the tail is this pinch twist, and you just attach there, and I measure, right, how long you want the tail. So I want it like this long, so it's like four finger bubble, cut, tight, and um, because the tail better is goes down, right, <laughs> like that. So you can bend it, pinch it, and give it some shade there. So it's gonna stay there. If it doesn't stay the way you want it, you can always open these legs, back legs a little bit and put it there. You see? And it stays there. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm happy. I think it's um it's a cool design. The, you know what? The, the most important thing is I'm sure people is gonna be able to see what is this. You know, that recognize. It's a, I think it's a cute design. Now for the eyes, you decide, but it looks like it have a small and black eye. So, and it goes all the way under, because I was my point, my idea was, oh, I'm gonna put the eyes here, right in this part. 
Padema, no, it goes here. And when you do that, you will see, it's gonna look more like a, the rhino. So let's do that. I just, look, it goes all the way under this little horn and a little bit here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make like the, I like to put some my lashes and it's kind of like a human eye. Yep, something like that. You see? Now the other side, the same. And just make like human eyes. And some eyelashes. And then uh, to make it look uh, cool, I can use, uh, or you can use some white Sharpie to put it around those sides. But here it's gonna have like the nose. I'm gonna make the basic nose that is gonna be something like that, look. And then just circle and circle. And then here, the, the, the smiley, um, or the, the, the mouth, you know, you can make it to be um, long or short, you decide. But I'm I like to make it a little bit longer. That way, you can see it in both sides. <laughs> what do you think? And it's all crooked and messy, but it's still looking like a rhino, don't you think? Well, I hope you like this design. I don't think it's hard, I think with practice, um, you're gonna be able to make it and then this can be um, maybe not a line design unless you are super good and fast but it can be for sure for a birthday party you know and events uh, that you don't have many kids and you want to make something more elaborated okie dokie have a wonderful day and tell me in the comments what do you think if you wanted to um, if you have an idea how to make this design better let me know the other cool thing, it can be a wristband or it can be on a, on a what? What is that? Um, headband, you know, anywhere. Because you have these four bubbles here to attach anything. Awesome. Papa. Hey, I don't want to forget something that a couple days ago I made this. Look. And what is this, right? It's for, it's always good to also make balloons that the kids can interact with it. And they have, you know, and so I was planning to make a balloon game. And that was a, and then I have a lot of those things like charms. What do you call those um, things that you can make bracelets, necklace, you know? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I have these and I bought a long time, a lot of these so I can put it inside clear balloons and then it can be like, oh, the dog is pregnant with a whale. It had a whale inside. Or the, or it have a dolphin, you know? Some, something like, like a teddy bear and the belly of the teddy bear with a 260 balloon, just add a twirl. So something silly, but, um. I noticed, you know, it had this hole so you can make it use it for necklaces. So I was thinking what to do and it came this idea. All these designs out of balloons. So um, I'm thinking I should, would you like me to do a tutorial or you already have the idea? Hmm, let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave in this video just a little short idea what is all this about, okay? And maybe in, I should make a, a tutorial or not, let me know, bye bye. Hey, one more thing, if you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget, you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know? So, you go, um, go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you, bye.